In question 1, we are given that the radius of a spherical balloon is increasing at a rate of uh, 4 cm per minute and we have to determine how fast is the surface area changing when the radius is uh, 14 cm. So first, uh, let me write the equation for surface area which is uh, S equals uh, 4 pi r squared. Now we have to find the derivative of uh, this equation with respect to time. So when you find the derivative of s with respect to time, we get uh, ds over dt. And this quantity basically determines the rate at which the surface area is changing. And so this equals, we have to differentiate this expression with respect to time. So first uh, we put the constant as it is and then differentiate r squared with respect to time. So when we do that uh, using the power rule, we put uh, 2r. And then now using the chain rule, we should differentiate r with respect to time, which is uh, dr over dt. So let's simplify this. This is uh, 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 8 pi r times uh, dr over dt. And so to evaluate this, we need this quantity radius as well as this uh, dr over dt. And this quantity dr over dt is the rate at which the radius is changing which is given as a 4 cm per minute. So this basically is a dr over dt. And we are also given that the radius is 14 cm. So let's plug in these two values into this expression. So we get 8 pi times radius is 14 and replace dr over dt by 4. So let's simplify this. And so this equals uh, 448 pi and the unit is uh, centimeter square per minute. We can uh, approximate the value of pi and multiply with 448. So we get the decimal equivalent as 1407.43. This is uh, centimeter square per minute. So this is the rate at which uh, surface area is changing. Let's do question two. Uh, here we are given that the surface area increases at a rate of 22 centimeters square per minute and we have to determine the rate at which the radius is changing when the radius is 14 cm. So once again we use the surface area equation that is s equals 4 pi r squared and we differentiate both sides with respect to time. So differentiation of s with respect to time is ds over dt and this equals we put the constant 4 pi and then differentiate the r squared with respect to time. So it is a 2R and then applying the chain rule to differentiate R with respect to time is DR over DT. And uh, we know that uh, DS over DT is the rate at which the surface area is changing. So it is uh, this quantity. This is uh, DS over DT. And uh, we are also given the radius uh, which equals uh, 14 centimeter. And we have to determine the rate at which the radius is changing. So basically, we have to determine this uh, derivative quantity that is uh, dr over dt. So let's plug in the values of uh, ds over dt and r into this equation and solve for dr over dt. So I plug in ds over dt equals 22. And this equals, uh, we can simplify this. This is uh, 8 pi times r replace r by 14 and then times uh, dr over dt. And so this gives, we have 22 on the left side. 8 times 14 is uh, 112. So it is uh, 112 pi times uh, dr over dt. So solving for dr over dt, we get uh, dr over dt. And this equals uh, 22 over 112 pi. So we can plug this uh, into this calculator and approximately we get uh, 0 0.063 and uh, the unit of this uh, dr over dt is centimeter per minute.
because it is the quantity which uh, determines the rate at which radius changing it is uh, centimeter per minute so this is uh, the value of at which the radius is changing